Good morning. God bless you all in Jesus' name. It's 8.20 a.m. Aussie time. It is Saturday, the 11th of September, 2021. And I would like to share with you some of my star captures. I have been fascinated by God's incredible creation. And I always loved looking up into the night sky. And as you can see here, these are what stars truly look like when you zoom into them. Not those little white cartoon CGI circles with little white lines that NASA and science likes to show you. See these beautiful colors here? These are what stars look like. And they shift, they gyrate, and they move along their course. And the colors keep changing and changing and changing. They're so beautiful. These are some of my photos. And I have captured so many incredible manifestations. I'll put some of the videos up later on. I had them up on one of my older channels, which is called Southern Hemisphere Night Sky. And I want to show you this, and I put like a little angel figurine so you can see the comparison. This is one of the manifestations that I caught in one of the stars that I was filming, and I was taking screenshots as I was filming. I used a Nikon Coolpix P1000, and look at this. You know in the Bible, the angels are called stars, the stars of heaven. Can you see the face on this star? Look at the angel. Look at the golden crown here on its head. It's got brown shoulder length hair. You can see the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and it looks like it's blowing something or it's whistling or it's blowing wind out of its mouth. You can see like wings here. You can see like some kind of little tail end there. And you can see here, this thing here, it looks like, it could be a trumpet that it's about to blow. It could actually, it looks like a bow and arrow as well, like it's holding a bow, like it's about to shoot something. Or it could be a sickle, like it's about to thrust in the sickle and reap. But this here is an angel. You can clearly see it and you can see the gold crown on its head. That's one of the best manifestations I've captured. I've captured other things in the stars. Um, like I said, I'll put them up later. One of them, it looks like a fetus in the womb with the umbilical cord with the beautiful colors around it. It's incredible. Um, hang on, I'll show you. These here, these are what stars really look like. And I'm gonna go down the bottom here and I'm going to show you what the face of a fallen angel looks like in the stars. When I enlarge it, you can't really see it clearly. I'll go to a smaller image of it here. Got a little collage of them here. See this one here? Can you see the face? It looks like that robot um, from that movie called iRobot starring Will Smith. And the robot's name was Sunny. Can you see the face? It's got its eyes closed. You can clearly see the face, the nose, the mouth. That's the face of a fallen angel with the colors around it. And when you look close at the stars, you can see creatures in them. You can see tormented faces. So when you look in the books, like science books, anything that NASA shows you, anything they show you in school, in college, in kids' books, on TV, it's all a lie. They are hiding God's creation. They want you to believe that space is real. There is no space. Space does not exist. Read the Bible. There is a firmament above us. God created a firmament to separate the waters from above from the waters below. There's water below us in the earth. The waters of the fountains of the great deep. Underneath us. In Noah's day. 
gazes burst open from the earth and all the water burst out and flooded the earth and the windows of heaven, which is a firmament, the waters above there, came down and flooded the earth. When God destroyed all the abominations, all the hybrids, all the creatures, all the, the Nephilim and the Titans that the fallen angels created, all the genetic tampering, read Genesis 6. And Jesus did say uh, one of the signs of his coming would be as it was in the days of Noah. What are they doing now? They're creating hybrids and they're doing a lot of evil things that they did in Noah's day. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you because many of you have not seen what real stars look like. Okay, look at the beautiful colors. This is God's creation. Okay, they want you to believe that space is real so you can believe in evolution and aliens and planets. Planets do not exist. Those things they call planets are wandering stars. They're wandering stars and they're all attached to the firmament. There is no space. So when the fake alien invasion happens, do not believe it. Be not deceived. The Bible says, don't let any man deceive you. Don't trust science. Don't trust man. Don't trust those in seats of power. Trust God. And when I say God, I'm talking about Jesus Christ because he's God manifest in the flesh. All right. I just wanted to share all that with you. Your thoughts will be appreciated. Leave your comments. And um, I love you all in Jesus' name. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless.